I'm going to leave you brothers and sisters with one of my favorite verses. Speaking of weddings, we hear it at weddings, Corinthians 13. And I'm going to read 4 through 7. And I'm also going to read eight, a little bit of 8 because I like it. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Listen to this next one. It does not insist on its own way. Hmm. That's interesting. See, people think this is often like to read this the way. Like, if you had this kind of expectations on your marriage, it's like you might as well just get divorced right at right away. Like, I'll just divorce you guys because this is never going to happen. But it might be able to loving people and loving your neighbor as yourself. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that loving your neighbor is also your enemy too, and doing good to those who persecute you. And, and you know why? Do you want to be, do something incredible? Anybody loves someone who loves them. Well, almost anybody. All <laughs> right. Um, some people are like, just please leave me alone. I'm scared. <laughs> Stop calling. <laughs> no more weird hairs in my mailbox. Um, another story. But... But it's easier to love those who love you back. But it's really hard to love those who don't love you and want to steal your life away or don't want to give you a chance, don't want to give you a quality, don't want you to be protected at work. It's really hard. But you guys know Montgomery, there's a picture of MLK Jr. down there. And he knew what the truth was. And he knew that love is the only force capable of turning an enemy into a friend. Hate produces hate. So how do we win? We love. And when we love, you expose them for what they are. We're not creators of tension. We're exposers of it. We expose the tension that's always been there. 